Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is show you a really cool feature in Launchpad uh, called AutoCord. And what AutoCord does is it allows you to, um, while playing a Launchpad uh, pattern, it allows you to record a chord progression and then either real-time, uh, almost as though you're using a looper, or in advance, and uh, the styles will follow that chord progression, thus giving you the ability, let's say, to just play melody with the right hand or whatever you want to do. And uh, th I think this is a really, really cool uh, feature uh, that they put into it. So let me show you how this works. So let's go ahead and take a Latin beat. We'll just take a bossa, uh, bossa nova. And remember, when you're just in the style engine, uh, when you press start, the uh, styles are going to follow my chords, right? So. You see, just follows me very nicely. Okay, but when I let go, it stays until I press another chord. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna import this style into Launchpad. So I'm gonna press the uh, start button, I'm gonna press Launchpad, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna import that style. So now I have that style imported. And in the middle of the right part of the screen there, you'll see something called Auto Chord. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set the number of bars to 16. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record, record 16 bars of chord progressions, right? And uh, when I'm finished, it's going to loop around and it's going to begin to play those chord progressions back to me, even though I am not uh, pressing any chords. And then at any moment in time, I can turn the auto chord feature off and I'm back to uh, having Launchpad follow my chords with my hand. Uh, if I turn auto chord on again, it will then start and it will uh, follow the chord progressions that I had recorded in. So let me let me begin to record the progressions. So here we go. go now. Watch the chords. They're changing on their own. So they're following the progressions that I played in. See that? Isn't that cool? It'll loop right back around and do it again. get the idea. Anyways, isn't that kind of a cool thing? And then anytime I can just turn the chords, the auto chord feature off, and you'll see that it follows my left hand now again. I'm using my right hand in this case. But you'll see it anytime I can. G minor, F major. Okay, turn it back on and it starts. So that's very neat. I think that's a very cool feature, uh, giving you the ability to both, uh, you know, play uh, complex, uh, you know, uh, right hands or structures, and having the uh, left hand um, sort of the progression already established for you, and be part of either a scene or a group of scenes or you know, a couple bars or whatever you wanted to use. So again, uh, turning auto chord on and off, uh, you can either use your foot pedal or you can use the uh, touch screen and the bar number indicates how many bars of the progression um, you'll be uh, recording and, uh, and obviously it'll keep looping through that progression based on that bar number um, until you turn auto chord off. Okay, I hope that's a little uh, informative for you relative to 
what that second row there in Launchpad does. And I'll continue to go through some of these Launchpad features in other videos. And uh, in this case, this is the most simplistic uh, capability in that we're only taking a style uh, from the, the style section of the uh, SD series and we're pulling it into Launchpad to use into Launchpad. Again, you have the ability to do a whole lot of other things uh, and combine this with uh, many other uh, uh, types of media. So, um, and we'll talk about those in future videos. Hope that helped.